Nas here from Nas Time Adventures. Uh, here today with another video uh, upgrading the off road coupling um, to a DO35 uh, from Cruise Master. So, you may have seen a video I did a few weeks ago uh, where I upgraded the uh, jockey wheel and the coupling. Um, now, I've been away for uh, a few days, a week or so, uh, in the outback, and um, got to use this uh, bad boy, and uh, I wasn't overly impressed with it. Now, not a major loss in that I got a pretty good deal on it in the first place, so no doubt I'll get my money back. But essentially, this is a two-ton unit. Um, van's probably about uh, the camp is probably about 1.3. Uh, I'm estimating based on the uh, changes that I've made to it. Um, so. This thing, uh, issue I had, uh, or the first issue I had initially was that that doesn't, and that's not bolted down by the way, but uh, that doesn't uh, rotate completely, which is uh, a bit of a concern if you, um, you know, in particular if your camper flips over uh, while it's attached to the car, that might be an issue, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Um, now the main issue for me was this thing here was quite stiff, and that pulls back so you can hook it on and it's actually quite stiff and quite awkward now i found if you don't line it up right if uh you aren't holding that high enough um you know and it is a little bit awkward to hold it was actually a real pain to uh use and hook up to the car now imagine that on level ground and then imagine that on um unlevel ground uh you know when your car's on the side of a hill or something like that um it's going to be an actual pain in the butt so i decided quite quickly that i was going to upgrade that i did a bit of research and um narrowed it down to two units uh being the uh, da35 from cruise master and also the mckitch um both uh had um you know the advantages but i got a really good deal on the da35 from cruise master so i've decided to go with that um, now the main features uh, of these um, is that it's you know quick and easy to uh, hook up. Um, it's extremely uh, strong. This is a three and a half ton unit, so um, you know much stronger. Um, you know I probably don't need probably overkill for what I need, but um, better to have too much than too little, I say. And um, the main reason I chose this was uh, you know essentially price, but. Uh, I know the build quality tends uh, rates are a lot better than the McHitch, um, although the McHitch is uh, highly rated. Uh, McHitch probably going to be a little bit easier to hook up, I reckon. You can have a look at those online. They're uh, a pretty good unit, and you know I would recommend them. I got uh, my mate Ed from Ed's Full Drive Camping. He's uh, got a video on it, and he absolutely loves his uh, unit. Um, I just like this probably because it's a little bit more compact, not as chunky. Um, it does probably rate a little bit better. Uh, you know, it's supplied by a company in uh, Australia as well, so you know they both are. So you know, supporting uh, local business as much as we can, and um, I just find that's uh, uh, a better unit for me overall. But do your research and uh, understand your own reasons for wanting to um, choose uh, between the two. But if I was going to select a coupling for an off-road trail, I'd definitely be thinking either this or the McHitch. There are some others in there, and people will tell you they're fantastic, but uh, that's what I'd narrowed it down to. Now, uh, pretty basic, uh, really, in that um, this pin gets hooked onto, obviously, uh, that replaces your 50mm ball, and that goes on the back of the uh, car, the hitch. Um, you know, you line it up with uh, that hole there, relatively easy, and it's pretty well guided, apparently, and then click that, and that locks it in place, and uh, you have a nice dust cover that goes over the top of it as well. So I'm just going to show you now basically what's involved and how easy it is to replace it. Now, like I said, that's not bolted down, and I'm doing this with one hand, but essentially you just unbolt it, lift the old unit off, get yourself the new unit, and line it up. Um, you know that easily um, bolt that down uh, I'm told to not use washers which I did last time actually don't use washers uh, nylon lock bolts a bit of Loctite on the uh, bolts as well to make sure they hold and use a torque wrench at 90 uh, I think it's pounds per pressure um, 
to uh, as recommended by the manufacturer. Now, this uh, you know it is a, a, a prettier design, I think, um, and uh, the beauty of it is is it does rotate completely as well, so it clears it quite nicely. So I'll bolt that down, come back and uh, show you the finished product. So Nass here back again for the final stage of this video. We're going to show it uh, set up and actually uh, hooked up to the car. So um, I've added the pin onto the hitch uh, using a couple of tools. So firstly the Cruise Master uh, tool supplied um, which basically hooks on there to stop it from spinning around when you're doing it up. Uh, this is a purpose built um, tool for removing balls and, and that off your hitches. I uh, highly recommend carrying one of those in the car. They're uh, really good, compact, and uh, you never know when you're gonna need it on the road. Um, so that's uh, fitted there pretty tight. We um, pull this up now a little bit closer. So take the uh, pin off it. Uh, firstly, you've got uh, open up the hole there so that locks in um, like that. Uh, push it in and lock it in place. So that hole is open. That's just going to go, don't have to line it up perfectly, just uh, as best you can. Because, um, uh, you know, you're on rough terrain and stuff, by the side of the hill or something, it's not always going to be lined up perfectly. But this seems to uh, guide itself in quite well. So, you might be able to see there, it's a bit of movement. Uh, that's locked into place. Um, let's take the weight off it and lock it in just by pushing that uh, button. So that's locked in, you know that's not going anywhere. Um, put the uh, dust cap on, and this cap will only go on once it's in the uh, locked position. Um, push in the back, clip it in. You need to hear it uh, lock in, otherwise, um, you need to hear it locked in, otherwise uh, it's not gonna um, be secure. You know once the cap's locked in that it's um, in the right place and it's actually secure. So that's locked in, ready to go. We can take the you know weight off that completely and ready to go to unhook it. You unclip the uh, lid, which is attached by the way, so you won't lose that. Um, push the uh, red pin, push the uh, plate back and it's that easy, it really is, um, you know, uh, they look five seconds, I reckon it took me about 20 minutes with the last one, so um, that's it, put your handbrake on and it's done, thanks guys. Um, that's pretty much it. If you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe. You'll see lots more videos coming up.